Okay, so um, this closing talk is uh, fairly simple. Um, it's mainly, which one am I supposed to use? Okay, awesome. So uh, mostly I just want to say thanks, uh, as Pushpa said, thanks to uh, everybody uh, that came, everybody that presented, everyone that was participated in the discussions because that's what actually makes this good. You know, us in the local organizing committee, we can provide a space, we can provide help, we can, you know, provide microphones, but really the ethos of the conference comes from the folks that, that, uh, that come. So thank you very much for coming because without you, it's just be an empty room. <laughs> Okay, so it's a tradition uh, at the, as the last uh, talk, um, the closing talk, if the next site has been selected for ACAT, that the next person who is going to have a slow building freak out for the next year and a half, give a short introduction to uh, where the next ACAT is. And this happy person, at least for the next 10 minutes till he really realizes what he's in for is fun. Okay. We, we can improve from that. We will improve from that. Yeah. <laughs> what would you have? Okay. What, what, you know the slides? Oh, Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So, there was a... Uh, okay, I cannot get back to you, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so the idea was to have the next uh, ACAT in, uh, in Europe again, and there were voices to have it at CERN, but of course CERN is an awful place to have any conference of this kind, because nobody will stay in one room for more than a few minutes. So we were looking for a much better location, and that's uh, what we found, uh, beautifully isolated uh, car-free mountain village that uh, we should visit in the winter months, because it will be 18 months from now. So this will be the, the location. Uh, it's Sasfe in uh, Switzerland. You can look it up. It's a uh, uh, property distance from Seren that you cannot drive up and down daily. You have to stay there. So why Sasfe? It's centrally located in Switzerland, three hours from Geneva and three and a half hours, or almost four hours from Zurich. Excellent infrastructure, car-free town center, Sufficient meeting rooms for ACAP size workshop, plenty of hotels, enthusiastic uh, local community. And we have been there. We have had excellent uh, uh, experience there. We had the last two route workshops uh, in uh, Sasfe, uh, one in the winter and one in the early autumn. Uh, so the winter one was an excellent success. Uh, Morion style mornings uh, lectures or plenaries. A uh, few hours of ski after lunch, and then from an evening program from uh, five to eight for the for what will be the parallel sessions. And that was uh, extremely well attended. After skiing, everybody was back. It was not that people were too tired and didn't attend anymore. It went perfectly fine. So we hope for the same. Uh, very close town. You will meet each other during the the week, during the evenings, uh, in a few bar-like locations where you can discuss and meet. People don't disperse into a big town. So we have uh, all the needed equipment. The, the, the meeting rooms are there. Uh, Denis, uh, me uh, from previous experience, but Denis has been visiting also and he was extremely enthusiastic. So it was all good. So we aim for a week in March 2019. Of course, we have to watch out that we don't hit any holiday periods where there's, you know, we'll be crowded by skiers, but we will find uh, there is some week where just between uh, everything, and then we can have full access to all the beautiful facilities there. So these were a few impressions from uh, the root workshop. You know, you have the warm environment and uh, good meeting rooms and all that, so it will be, will be fine. And of course, the most important thing will be to have an extremely strong scientific program, and on that we will start working uh, fairly soon with a new local committee, but also with our established international advisory committee. So that is it. So now you go. Now you go back. <laughs> All right.
right. Thanks, Pons. Um, why is this not working? Of course, it fails on my talk. Oh, because there's more. Okay, so um, as I said before, thanks to everyone that showed up. But also, as organizer, I could not have done this with a lot of support from uh, other people. Uh, so I want to spend a little time uh, thanking them. Um, and I also want to say that you know there, there were some things that went wrong in the SACAT. I, I won't talk about them. But we did some things right. Like we didn't. OK, so something else we seem to have done wrong. We didn't look at the sun. We also had, what the hell? It's certainly on. Um, so we also had a uh, series of uh, good discussions on diversity. I'm sorry? Oh, sorry. I, as anybody who's received one of the 4,000 emails I've sent having to do with ACAT knows, this is, I apologize. But, um, Thanks. So yeah, it's a diverse way to spell it. I apologize. Apologies. So um, I, I saw a couple of people during talks before we had that panel discussion this morning talking about diversity and talking about you know they, several people mentioned it as as one of the the themes that were uh, in this uh, conference. And the result is uh, a number of talks just would have sort of a half slide that would discuss some issue having to do with, say, what was the composition of their team that they were worked in, uh, that they'd worked in for this particular project that they were uh, presenting. And I really like that because it, it wove this all the way through the, the conference. And I hope most of you noticed it, and I hope most of you will take home some of the ideas and the discussions and see how they fit and apply to the environment that you're working in uh, or the teams you're working on or connected with. Oops, sorry, sorry. Would have been funny if I fell. Um, now, for some of the people I need to thank, there's a couple of them with whom many of you uh, had interactions but never showed up in the actual conference center, but without them, would, this never would have happened. So any of you at a, a dorm room, uh, Michael Anderson was the fellow that you uh, talked with. I told him initially, he said, how many dorm rooms do you want? I said, yeah, maybe 10. <laughs> it was close to 50, I believe, is the final number. So the poor guy was constantly scrambling. Oh, they opened a new floor in, uh, I believe it was in this building, they opened a new floor for us uh, because we had so many people. Uh, Norma, anytime you were eating anything, Norma was the person that I, con I set that all up with. And then finally, uh, this whole area and all the interactions having to do with the space were, uh, were all uh, Jordan. So I, even though they're not here, I'd still like to give them a round of applause. <laughs> Whoops. OK, now Pushpa already thanked the International Advisory Committee. I will just do it again, but instead of names, I'm just going to do it by a few pictures that I, I pulled out. These folks have been rather dedicated for the last oh, year and a half, maybe, something like that, helping me uh, get this conference into, into shape, giving me lots of advice, lots of uh, prior experiences, and this conference would be I only maybe, if, if at all, half as good uh, without all of their help. So I want to thank them, many of whom are still sitting in this room. So there are also the track coordinators. And I don't know that people really appreciate how much work the track coordinators had to do. They were responsible for all those abstracts in their, uh, in their particular tracks. They were responsible for figuring out the program. Once that was together, they had to actually schedule them in Indigo. I know scheduling doesn't sound like much, but Indigo. Um, There's a lot of work, a great deal of work. And um, almost all of them devoted an insane amount of time. And when I would make some sort of a last minute request, they would respond almost immediately. So thank you so much, all of you uh, who helped out, because uh, that got our schedule into shape. There are also the panel organizers, who I haven't all listed, because some of them have just been uh, talking. But they 
uh, also did quite a bit of work inviting the panelists, uh, setting up the questions, sending out surveys, uh, and gathering folks, and then making sure it actually worked, the logistics actually worked down here. That was uh, also a, um, a good deal of work. And of course, Federico, who is the chair of the Scientific Program Committee, any plenary speaker who's still sitting in the audience knows Federico personally. He sent many invitations. <laughs> And uh, he was rather militant about it. And it was great because that was one thing I really paid no attention to. So thank you so much for all that work. OK, and that's a white screen. It was not what I was expecting. OK, here we go. <laughs> OK, so uh, more locally, uh, Shisha, please come up. Uh, without him, I don't think I would have actually learned what the word delegate means. <laughs> his, uh, his first conversation with me when we started to get serious about the uh, organization was, is you should schedule everything so you're not doing a thing. So there's nothing for you to do, nothing on the schedule, because there's so many little things that you'll have to take care of. And uh, thank you for that bit of advice, because although it's obvious, I certainly was not following it at the time that you, uh, you gave it to me. He was also tireless in making sure things work, uh, worked, working with the team, getting us all uh, kind of organized. And so I very much appreciate uh, his work. And I went and I got something for him. So there's this chocolatier downtown. OK, I can't actually grab this. There's too many, I'm holding too many things. There's a chocolatier downtown called Friends, which makes some of the, I think, best chocolate in, uh, in Seattle. So I got him a small bag. Stay, stay up. Stay up. OK. Also, I don't know, is Toby here today? If not, I know where he is. He's right there. On Monday, he took delivery of that boat. This is his floating home. He's a true Seattleite. So, uh, and he will very shortly have that boat fully wired with Wi-Fi and power so that he can go motoring around South Lake Union, uh, excuse me, uh, motoring around South, South Lake Union while uh, working. Um, but he has, he was uh, valuable, especially at the beginning of the week, uh, getting uh, all of us uh, set up and going. So thanks, Toby. Okay, so now I don't have pictures because this team was really quite big, but this group of nine, Andrew, z come on up. So uh, Aaron, uh, who just left. So Andrew left early in the week. Aaron has left. Pac, uh, this conference scarred him so badly he actually moved out of Seattle. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jeremy, come on up. Uh, Tom. OK, Andrew has also had to leave earlier in the week. Uh, Geneva. And uh, Nicola, who's also left, and uh, Annie, please, please come up. So these are the folks. You, you probably know them well. You interacted with them either on the main desk or sometimes helping out. One of them was almost always sitting in, your, uh, in one of your parallel sessions just in case something uh, went wrong. And we're constantly, you probably saw us all on our phones, we have a, a group text message and we are constantly messaging back and forth, trying to solve the little problems, make sure that everything ran smoothly. And without them, uh, this conference certainly would have. So please, uh, thank them all. She went also decided to come here despite it being her birthday. <laughs> oh no, sorry, I am not giving you a second. No, no, you can't have a second. <laughs> all right. OK, thanks all. Now you can sit down. So a uh, quick favor. Um, not everybody's uploaded their poster yet. Please, it would be awesome to make Indigo a complete record of this uh, conference. So anybody, if you have not yet uploaded your poster, please do so. If you're having trouble, email me or Shisha, and we'll make sure we get your poster in there. Their proceedings, a due date is known, it's October 20th. There are, pardon me, there are instructions for general uh, format uh, and layout on the website. These will be published by IOP, so we are going to use their templates for, for the papers. 
um, please uh, have at it. This is uh, eight weeks from now. So although it seems like it's a long time, actually, it's not a long time. In fact, I would recommend that as soon as we're done here, you just sit down and write the paper and just upload it straight into Indigo, and that way you won't forget it. The other thing is, is we're going to send around a, a short survey just sort of asking about various features of this ACAT, and we'll do that um, before the end of this weekend. And while, while uh, ACAT is still fresh in your mind, if you wouldn't mind just filling it out, I don't think it should take much more than about 10 minutes in order to do it. Um, but that would be uh, incredibly helpful. So go forth. All these great ideas that you heard about, the ones that you came up with, that you collaborated, you know, maybe some new collaborations formed. It certainly seemed like there's some very intense discussions going on, which is exactly what something like this is for. Uh, you know, go forth and uh, make sure that they all, uh, they all get out there and hopefully they'll turn into some real ideas or, or papers. Safe travels. There's a hurricane. If you're going south, it's pretty likely your flight's been canceled, so watch that but uh, it's a category three, so it's a mess down there, poor old Texas. And, uh, whoops, nope, I was just gonna say, see you, uh, see you next year in Sass Bay. That's all I've got. Two years, well, 219 in March, but if you can, enjoy a little bit more of Seattle. Take care. All right, we made it, we made it. <laughs>